Did you know that a third of all food produced in the world is lost before it reaches the consumer? This equates to over 1.3 billion tonnes of food each year. These food losses have a major impact on global food security. Food security relies on access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food to allow people to lead healthy and active lives. As human populations continue to grow and our planet's resources are under threat, our food systems need to be more efficient. To date, research on post-harvest losses has focused on estimating physical losses within food systems. The nutri Loss Project goes beyond physical losses to measure nutritional losses from harvest to market. This is the first initiative of its kind. Drawing on literature, laboratory analysis and fieldwork, our research focuses on three important crops, cowpea, maize and sweet potato. We're developing a method to estimate changes, both macronutrients, carbohydrate, protein and lipids, and key micronutrients, iron, zinc and vitamin A throughout the value chain. We know that if we were transporting grain home, if we lost 100 grams of it due to a split in a sack, we could calculate using food composition tables exactly what nutrients were in that 100 grams of, of, of say, maize grain, and therefore what nutrients we had lost. However, when insect pests attack grain, and insect pests are the, one of the major causes of post-harvest loss, they don't eat the whole grain, they just eat portions of the grain. And in cowpeas, the nutrients might be fairly homogeneously spread throughout the grain, but in maize, you've got very distinct nutrients differences in the nutrients that are in the germ versus the endosperm. So the place that the insect feeds on on the grain matters, and it may affect what nutrients are removed from that grain. The AFLIS, the African Post-Harvest Losses Information System, calculates the percentage weight loss that's happening at each of these different post-harvest stages. And from that, we can calculate what the nutrients um, that how, how many nutrients are lost and which nutrients are lost from that. But we think that it, during storage, because of this kind of selective feeding that happens by insects, or the fact that they don't just, you know, they, they eat different parts of the grain, you may get a, a loss of particular nutrients um, versus other nutrients. So it may not be a one-to-one -one relationship between weight loss and um, a reduction in all the nutrients in that grain. We have conducted a quantitative uh, baseline survey with 215 randomly selected farmers from Amaro and MPG districts, and the data are being analyzed now. Um, apart from that, we have also conducted several focus group discussions and also collected samples from the field for uh, laboratory testing. Our role is to validate post-service losses along the sweet potato valley chain. We have already done this study in two regions in Uganda, and our preliminary findings show that the highest losses occur at the farmer level, both for the fresh and the dry but sweet potato valley chains. Some of our major learnings include the fact that uh, uh, many of the activities are done by women in the sweet potato valley chain, but losses are not so much as compared to the fresh chain. The project has generated quite a lot of interest at various levels. There was a lot of interest in terms of uh, nutrition and food safety, which are new elements in uh, uh, this project or in research in post harvest in general, because previously um, farmers have been more interested in uh, just having more quantity to eat, but without really considering the nutritional value. The methods we develop and validate in this project can be applied to other crops and countries and will provide critical missing information for agriculture and nutrition stakeholders. This can guide policy decisions to strengthen food security globally.